Time for new rules, everybody, new rules. New rule, if she wants to attract young voters, Hillary Clinton needs a campaign logo that looks less like hospital parking. <laughs> And speaking of logos, the designers of the logo for Sarah Palin's pack should talk to the guys who draw Goofy. Um, they can explain that when you see stars, it doesn't really mean you're looking to the future. It means you just walked into a stop sign. New rule, if you make your living stalking and killing innocent animals, as professional game hunter Ian Gibson did, and you're leading a safari to kill elephants, as Ian Gibson was, and during that safari, an elephant tramples you to death, good. And by the way, we know the elephant is the nobler of the two, because when the hunter wins, it's the greatest moment of his life, and when the elephant wins, it's Ew, what did I step in? <laughs> New rule, you could buy a $75 toaster that burns a picture of your face <laughs> into the bread, but if you just want women who stay over to never come back, say so. <laughs> What kind of needy loner says, hey, look at that bread you're eating, it's really me. <laughs> New World, the woman who got a tattoo of her favorite band, The Lost Prophets, and then found out the lead singer is a child molester, has to tell the woman with the Cosby tattoo <laughs> that it could be worse. By the way, the worst thing about getting a Cosby tattoo on your thigh, <laughs> what happens when your leg falls asleep? <laughs> New rule, once you're dead, you have to shut up about politics. North Carolina's Larry Upright, yes, Larry Upright, was such a staunch Republican that in his obituary it said, the family respectfully asked that you do not vote for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and then to honor Larry, they held a moment of Fox News on mute. <laughs> you know what, Larry, if you can think it's funny to campaign against Hillary Clinton in your obituary, then I can think it's funny that you're dead and your name is upright.